Hi, my name's Claire Harrison. I'm the founder and managing director of Harrison Human Resources. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the JobKeeper enabled change of duties and change of location directions. So the JobKeeper enabled change of duties and location directions have similar requirements to the stand down direction in that employers must qualify for JobKeeper. Uh, they need to meet the wage requirement of paying employees at minimum $1,500 per fortnight. Uh, they need to meet that safety obligation, that continual duty of care for their employees. There needs to be a reasonableness of the direction. And there's that hourly rate guarantee, and that is that you cannot reduce an employee's normal hourly rate of pay. In addition to that, uh, for the change of duties direction, it must be within the competency and skills, including any required licenses and qualifications of the job or the person. Second to that is the duties are reasonably within the scope of normal business operations, which means uh, you couldn't get your accountant mowing your lawn at home because that would be outside the scope of the normal business operations. Uh, for the change of location, which is really set up for the working from home direction, or uh, directing employees to work from a different one of your work locations. Uh, for that one, again, uh, you need to meet that reasonableness within the scope of the business activities that you would normally be undertaking. As well, it needs to be a suitable location where they can actually do their work. Uh, importantly, I think it's worth considering that you don't actually need JobKeeper to uh, direct people to work from a different location such as working from home, given the current situation with coronavirus. Uh, as well, there is an extra safeguard for JobKeeper enabling directions about duties and locations, which is that the employer has to have factual information uh, in front of them that le ne leads them to reasonably believe the direction is necessary to maintain the employment of the employee or employees. Uh, that is, if it wasn't for the direction that the employee or employees would not have a job. So that's an additional consideration for these two directions. Uh, and again, uh, there is the requirement for consultation, similar to the stand down provision. So you do need to show a record of consultation. So at least three days before, you need to consult with employees on the change of location or change of duties. Uh, and three days before the direction, then you can provide the direction and just keep a record of consultation uh, in your document. So really important that consultation requirements. So thank you.